tape now. Fader, 31 years of age, just six foot, 230 pounds, very unassuming. He is a world champion in Sambo, judo, pra, uh, judo expert as well. Tim the Maniac, Sylvia, six foot eight, 263 pounds of raw anger and pain. Tim Sylvia, introduce yourself to Fedor. Towering at six foot eight, this former UFC champ comes in with a childhood chip on his shoulder. He's the maniac, Tim Sylvia. Every fight I'm in, I, I just have this this will that I do not want to lose no matter what. When we step into this ring on July 19th, I'm looking to hurt Fedor. I'm looking to tell him that I am one of the best out there, and no matter what happens, he's going to come away in this fight hurt. Always had that nagging person yelling at me, screaming at me, beating me, saying I'm never going to amount to anything, never going to be anything. You know, I get to go out there and prove them wrong as well. I just got to be in Fedor's face. I got to rough him up, big man him, push him around, throw him around the ring, just be in his face, let him know he's in a fight. I think I can beat him, otherwise I wouldn't be taking this fight. Fedor, I'm coming in there to beat you. I'm coming out number one in this fight. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a maniac in the house coming to the ring, him, Sylvia! Well, the maniac, Tim Sylvia, says he's in the best position you can ever be in because not a soul on this planet is expecting him to take out the much shorter, much more subdued Fedor Emelianenko. Tim Sylvia, you know, always very boisterous, always very, look, man, hey, I deserve my just due. You better go ahead and pay attention to me as well. I'm a former UFC champ as well, guys. Let's go ahead and pay attention to me in the heavyweight division. No one seems to. The best way to make a statement, go ahead and knock out the number one guy in the world. We got no choice but to listen and pay attention to you for the rest of your career. Steps right over that top rope, a la Big John Stud. Big John McCarthy, you've seen him fight. Have you ever seen him with this sort of attitude before? You know what? The one thing you got to say about Tim Sylvia, he gets more out of what God gave him than any other fighter I know. And the one thing that God did give him is an incredible heart and a streak of I don't quit. And Tim does it. He is tough as hell. Well, the guy who he's going to face is the man we've all been waiting to see. The great one. It is Fedor Emelianenko. America, meet Fedor. Armed with quiet confidence and unrivaled skills, he fights for himself, his team, and Mother Russia. They say he's the best, Fedor Emelianenko. Смог победить, смог сделать это. Я всегда помню, что за мной моя команда, которая помогает, делает, делает для меня все, чтобы я был чемпионом. Моя страна, которая, в которой меня ждут победители. And now, the last emperor. Fedor Emelianenko! Oh, 
my goodness, boys. This is what we were talking about. He looks like the executioner walking down to the ring to do his job. Move over, Ivan Drago. This guy is the real deal in Russian nightmares. He is expressionless when he walks down. He looks like my kid every time he's been in trouble. He's got to go. He knows he's going to meet the executioner, but the guy that you would not want to have walking down those steps to you is Fedor Emelianenko. He is absolutely the most dominant heavyweight that has ever been in mixed martial arts. I got a chance to sit down with him for about an hour last time we were together, and he said, you know, sometimes when I'm beating up my opponents, I start to feel bad for them, so I let up, show their sympathy, and when they take advantage of my generosity, I end the fight. <laughs> That's kind of what happened with him and Vegeta. He kind of let Vegeta punch him around a little bit. Kind of stung him. He finally got tired of it. I brought him to finish the fight very quickly. Him and Coleman, him and Randleman, him and anybody who's ever done anything to him. You're right, Big John. You're right. Big John was correcting me. It was, it was a choke on Vegeta. Yes, it was. So one, time he didn't do so one time he didn't do an armbar. Yeah. He, you know what? His sambo is so good. He's so explosive that he is absolutely a dangerous man, no matter if he's on his feet or on the ground. And he very rarely gets hurt. Let's send it now into the ring to Michael Buffer for our heavyweight championship fight. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, from the Honda Center, Anaheim, California, Affliction Event and M1 in association with Roy Engelbrecht Events is proud to present the Affliction Band main event of the evening. For the very first time in history, an MMA independently recognized contest for the heavyweight championship of the world. Scheduled for five five-minute rounds, sanctioned by the WA MMA and the California State Athletic Commission, Chairman Tim Noonan, Executive Officer Armando Garcia, Assistant Executive Officer Bill Douglas, Event Supervisor Che Guevara. And inside the ring, when the action begins, your referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, it's time for a moment of history. Are you ready? MMA fans, are you ready? For the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Fighting out of the red corner, standing 6 feet 8, officially weighing 263 pounds. His record, 24 victories, including 16 knockouts with two submissions, only four defeats. From Bettendorf, Iowa, the former UFC heavyweight champion, Pin Maniac Sylvia. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, he stands six feet tall and officially weighs 230 pounds. His record, 27 victories, only one defeat. Six by KO, 14 by submission from Staryosko, Russia. The former Pride FC heavyweight champion, ladies and gentlemen, Dami Gaspadai, the last emperor, Fedor Emelianenko. gentlemen we've gone over the rules protect yourself at all times follow my instructions we will have a clean fight touch gloves just make it official 
Very interesting. Neither fighter looking at each other. Not one time did they look up and look in each other's eyes. Fedor expressionless. Tim Sylvia says again, I have nothing to lose. It's finally here. The affliction people give it to us. Fedor Emelianenko on U.S. soil fighting the former UFC heavyweight champ in Tim Sylvia. This is the kind of fight you live for right here. Yeah, this is for the Whamma heavyweight belt, Big John. Oh, nice. Sean Blesser by oh, 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 oh,
Nobody does what Fedor does. It's, it's, if you're fighting him, it's impossible to find a guy that can beat, that can punch you in the head like that. Then, with, with a six foot frame, I'll have a six foot seven frame, sticking both hooks, flip you over onto your back, and sticking a rear naked choke that was only used with the forearm. So he's got power, strength, and technique on top of it. 